Welcome back to episode 3 of Greatest's Let's Play Modded Minecraft series season 2 and that's a mouthful. Um, where we left it we we're about to head into a smeltery which is what I started building down here and this would be a 3x3. Three three. This is the base and you'd build it around here. But I'm not quite so sure I want it here at the moment. Come back to that in a minute. Because as you can see I've already cleaned things up we're going to move and yes already in episode 3 now typically you move from your cave in the ground yeah, to a small building in honor of the Darwolf 20 pack um, that's usually 9x9 for, <laughs> for at least his series um, or an internal volume of 7x7 seven seven. I tend to build my buildings a little bigger than that mainly because I want room in the walls to put cable in so I went a bit mad um, and as you can see just up here I've already bricked this up can't get up to the surface this way so uh, where did I put the uh, way out can go this way I think Planted some spruce wood, but then I uh, went and made my first building. Isn't it nice? At least it is nice for the, for this kind of area. You know, it's the um, white cherry leaves, cherry blossom, if you like. It's a pagoda, and let's head inside. Carbon to door. We have some chests. We also have a basement and a first floor, or for Americans, second floor. And for Europeans, this is a cellar, not a basement. And of course, we have this door, which is hidden from this side. And we'll back down where we started. Cool. So, um, before we get on to the smelter, which is the main point of the episode, I would like to talk a little bit about performance. Now, you've probably seen my previous episodes, um, number one and two so far. If you were looking up at the top right of the screen, the frames per second was quite low. And I was recording at the same time, of course, but even so, frames per second, quite low, and that's not great. So I created a thread on Reddit, and I will link to it in the description. And if I remember something on the screen around about here, and um, go and check that out. Um, that literally has quadrupled my frame rate when I'm not recording and doubled it when I am recording, at least double. Um, it does degrade over time, so there are probably memory leaks and other things going on. Bit annoying, but at least it's a start, and hopefully, particularly the Binny's Mods problem. Um, Binny's Mods at the moment, if I go into my crafting interface, and if I were to craft something here, like a stack of things, when it, when you craft them by shift clicking, uh, it would just cause your, your entire computer to freeze. Not great. So we don't want that to happen. And so for the time being, I'm not going to try and um, do the shift clicking of major amounts of resources until Binny's Mod's been updated. Binny's Mod's is the extra trees and bees and all kinds of other stuff like that. So, for now, um, just to show you the last upgrade, these are iron chests, so if you haven't seen iron chests before, straightforward to upgrade a normal chest. You can either put a chest in there to get an iron chest natively, or you can get an upgrade like this. And the next upgrade, and let's make a few, uh, four iron. You can just go up to gold chests. And you go up to diamond ones as well, but the gold chest has lots of room. And I still haven't found any diamonds, which is inconvenient. So, smeltery. I will build it downstairs first, but we're going to need, at least to start off with, I'm going to need a controller, which is just a ring. I'm going to need a tank which is 
ring with a glass in it. I'm going to want three drains for me. So a drain is a kind of right like that. So this forms the outer ring. Remember I'm showing you the three by three? So you need 12 blocks around the outside. This is already five. So I'm going to need seven more. Um, then I'm going to want a few other things. Um, I'm going to want well, at least one casting table. I probably want two, so let's just make them now. And I want a casting basin. And I already made a seed brick. I shouldn't have made that seventh one. Fine. A faucet or a tap if you're in Europe. And that's enough for now. I need more of these faucets, so I'm going to need more sand. I'm probably out of sand. Turn that volume down a little bit. Yeah, I've got it once. Oh no, wait, I've got some sand. So, the rest of this we need is clay. So, I've got 18 clay and some gravel. Five, do I have more? I do. I think this is shapeless crafting, so it doesn't matter too much. Let's head downstairs. Oh, one final thing, sorry. Where are you? Ah, there we are. A couple of buckets of lava. Lava is the main power source for a smeltery. Pop you in that. So typically what I try and do is I want a controller on one side and the tank on the other. I want the drains, small side to the outside, large side to the inside. Give me out. Didn't want to do that. Did I make two drains? Ah. That's annoying. So I made three. And we just fill the rest with that. Oh no, that's why. Haha. <laughs> I did make three. Let's put a drain down instead of the tank. Tank. Drain. And if it lights up, if you get to fire, it's working. This will now take nine blocks at once. And it will all double. We also are going to need to plant down the outputs, and that's what the drains are for. And you can stagger these outputs. In fact, one way to do that is to put something like... I imagine this was down in there. Crafting table, and then your faucet. And then th there would be the... Sorry, it's the wrong way around. Casting basin would be at the top, then the faucet, then the table, but... Yeah, I just prefer keeping them separate. So, one there, one there, and one here. And to start with, yeah, I'm going to want those. Okay, so to briefly explain, if you use the center one, it's going to pour stuff into this basin and it needs nine ingots worth to fill it. If it doesn't get filled, it won't dry out and you won't be able to pour stuff out, so make sure you don't use that unless you've got nine ingots in here. These either side will generally pull out one, so what we're actually going to need to make is the other um, Tinker's Construct items. 
of which I'm going to need some wood. So let's go and see if I've got any in the uh, chests, building materials. Yeah, I've got slabs for the pagoda roofs, but no wood. Fine. Sleep. Don't have to be too um, tidy about this. I'll have to replant all of these later. So, don't care about it too much just yet. That should be enough. So you're going to need one piece of wood, you're going to want one plank, one crafting table, and one chest. With the rest, We're going to make the stencils. Um, this is the recipe for stencils. Um, like that. 24 stencils. So, all we do now is put a piece of wood underneath. That's a part builder. Get another one of those. A stencil table. A tool station and a pattern chest. We've also got a little bit of cobblestone which is fine and just for decoration let's head downstairs. So, you don't need to just use these bricks, it would be kind of hard to see into them if you did. So you can use this sear glass that I just made. That'll see in, and of course you can just build the entire walls out of this stuff if you wanted to. Um, usually I build the front wall out of this and then the back walls from the normal stuff. Like that. So every level you build up, you get another nine. <coughs> excuse me, another nine uh, capacity of blocks. And we also want to fill this up with lava. So if I just do that, that should be half full. And then if I grab these, uh, we can put them anywhere. Here should do. Stencil table. Usually I put the next piece underneath, pan chest. Pot builder and tool station. And we can just drop our stencils in here. You can't shift click for some reason. Is that what's going on there? Huh. That should be working. I'm not going crazy. I should be able to select them on this side and then see them. No. How odd. Well, that's going to put a damper on things until I can sort that out. Yeah. 
Yeah, see all of these Tora patterns. We should be able to craft them in this table. I've done it many, many times before, so. This will say one four nine eight ten. Yeah, it's the same thing. Fine, I'm gonna have to come back to that one after I figure that one out. Oh, I can still select them. Interesting. That's just a visual bug then. Fine, if you see this. In fact, yeah, I know what it is. Sorry, something I forgot to mention. I should have mentioned this before. Um, I've updated the texture pack, and this is the Faithful pack. It has a little bit higher res, but it keeps the same um, kind of textures as default Minecraft. It just appears for this particular machine these textures on the left aren't actually around, so that's fine. Oh, we're just going to make, and this is much better than the 1.6 system, by the way, which you used to have to flick through them like left and right and find the right um, pattern. This one, I can just select the right one, so I want one of those, and I want one of these. So we're going to make a pick. Um, to do that, we then move on to the second machine, and we can just make some of these components, but we don't really need to. Um, what I actually want is casts. So if I use a piece of cobblestone with the actual pattern, I can get the cast. Well, the stone version, which I'm going to use as a cast. So, stone. There we go. And we can just store them in the chest, which is underneath. Down there. So over here, I'm going to want to put these and pour something over them. Now, you can use the aluminium I was talking about, but we need to make aluminium brass for that. And to be honest, I don't, well, I could make something like a train smasher, which would break the obsidian I need. Oh, no, in fact, not obsidian. Aluminium brass is just, no, oh, where's the book? Probably I'm going to make have to make a train smasher. Uh, alloys. Yeah, so three aluminium, one copper. So it's easy enough to make aluminium brass. You can also use gold for this, but if you remember, I asked you to go and get some um, aluminium, so we should have that. If I hadn't already processed it, it would be um, in ore form, which would get doubled. So when it says three and one in the book, if you put three or on one or you'll get six and two so you'll get quite a lot of it in our case that's probably what I want so I'm gonna put six of that two of this and we can just drop it in the controller there we go, you see, nearly the full capacity. It shouldn't take very long. And should let us... Yeah, that's not going to take long at all. The aluminium heats up faster than the copper. There's the aluminium. And the copper should melt shortly. And change straight into aluminium brass. Any minute now. There we go. Let's see, yellow color. So we can make a cast of that and a cast of this. We can also make an ingot cast, which is useful when we just want to pull one ingot out instead of this nine. 
There we go. And we want a cast of this. Now we may not necessarily use all the casts. You don't have to. Particularly the binding I'm not going to need initially, but I will have it for later. And how much have I got left? I've got four ingots left, so I'm going to have to use this one. And that used, yeah, maybe a tenth of a bucket, a little bit more. Not very much at all. And I do actually want the chest of some kind down here. Just to store miscellaneous junk that I might need. Has this melted down anymore just yet? Come on. It has. Okay. So I still have the ingot from there. I'll make four more of these. Not enough to make another row yet, but um, yeah, you what, what you, with what you got, and it's empty again. Okay, so that's the initial part. There's a small tree up and running, but what do we want to make with it? Well, let's get rid of this. We want to make tools, and particularly, I wanted to start making these iron picks, and probably the um, sword, axe, and shovel as well. So pickaxe, as you can see here, you need those three things I just made, the tool binding, the tool rod, and the pickaxe head. But you can make it at lots of different things. Um, here we go. Iron, flint, cactus, obsidian. Obsidian is one that I probably want for the binding. It basically makes it um, reinforced. But the rest, before we can get to, in fact, is in here. Yeah, um, kind of the best materials here are cobalt, ardite, and manulin. Um, they all need the nether. So we've not been to the nether yet, so we're going to have to start with something earlier. Um, all you might is probably about the best kind of stuff we can do for now. So let's put this back. Yeah, five aluminium, two iron, two obsidian. That's why I said I'm going to need the obsidian, because I don't have any at the moment. I get some lava easily enough. No obsidian. So let's go and see if I can make a terrain smasher. Do I have enough materials? Hopefully I do. By the way, if you find diamonds, I haven't found diamonds, but if you had found diamonds, you could do that instead. That wouldn't be too terribly difficult. Uh, that's some glass, redstone, invar. Invar's going to be the thing I don't have, so... I don't have much iron either. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to be careful with the iron. I swear, I, I just went and got some iron. I think it's still downstairs. It's just not processed yet. That's fine. Let's get some redstone. So we want some planks. Some of these. our piston. Need some tin gears which is going to be about eight tin. Uh, 
in a pneumatic servo that's going to be more iron more redstone i'm going to need some more in bar so uh let's just grab a few ferrous and do i need anything else i'm probably going to need a chest Yeah, there we go. Lots of iron. Thankfully, because I need a lot. Um, where was I? Chest. Yeah, we just need the iron. There we go. of these and that's just the pickaxe left really so if we switch this to alloys only and we go with one ferrous and two iron that should produce us some inbar I think there we go. Let's go more iron. There we go. So if I just go and use this for a second, shift click, and yeah, it's the usual problem. There we go. We also want to pick that up, so I'm going to need to make something else, which we can just grab upstairs, and I'm going to need some water as well. So let's get our buckets. And we want to make a crescent hammer, which, if I remember rightly, is three iron in a triangle. No. Really? Yeah, other way around. Fair enough. That was close. Same shape. There we go. I've still got the iron powder. Fine, so let's go and get some obsidian. That's all we really need other than iron. Let me just drop that back in here. Uh, there we go. By all means, if you get diamonds, feel free to skip this you can go and get your own um, obsidian yes I have been doing quite a bit of mining here we go so what we want Place the terrain smasher down. It'll break the block in front of it. Place the chest behind it and take out the obsidian. Remember, however, take the terrain smasher out first before you pick up the chest because sometimes you can get it to actually <laughs> break your uh, your own chest. There we go. Two. Ow. Shouldn't have done that.
shift right click by the way with this to remove it I don't need very much obsidian just yet so that should be enough and we're done now if you remember it's two obsidian but that's going to get doubled I think so we probably want 10 aluminium blocks and 4 iron blocks which should be straightforward in fact no I'm just going to use one obsidian because I'm going to need obsidian for the binding so I just want 5 aluminium then Five aluminium, one of those, and two of those. I'm just going to wait for that to cook up while eating. Aluminium's gone already. Iron will be next. And we can just get a cast ready actually. That's going to want all three. But we can make one of them already with the obsidian. We want that for the binding. Oops, wrong thing. Um, there we go. And an extra piece in case we need it later. We could probably make another binding out of it, but not too important. Oh, you might. Three ingots. So, in the tool station, choose a pickaxe. Reinforce three, durability, uh, gray pick. But we're not going to stop there. Reason being, and I need another tool for this, we can put some stuff onto this, some modifiers to make it better, which is okay, but we can go a bit further than that as well. Uh, one of the modifiers I want is so that I don't have to make another pick again, so to do that, I want my chisel, there you are. So if you make a chisel, which is just a stick and a piece of iron like that, right click and drop in we want some smooth stone. We want nine of it. Choose the mossy stone bricks, and we get nine mossy stone bricks. What can we do with those? Well, put those in a square, and you get a ball of moss. We also want probably I don't want to put too much stuff on it, so because we're going to upgrade to that manulin, um, that we, oh, the cobalt maybe, either one, uh, once we go to the nether. So, in the meantime, um, yeah, that should do for now. 
So we just pop back down to our tool station. If we have a look. We have three modifiers remaining. So the first thing I want to put on it is a ball of moss. And that takes one modifier if I take this out, which I'm going to do. Take it out. The next one this will take it down another modifier is redstone and it'll only take it down a further modifier to zero once I go over that 50 so the first click is 10 20 30 40 50 still one modifier remaining redstone's on there add some lapis and this you're not gonna fill with with any amount of lapis you've probably got at this stage but the important part is that it'll give you the fortune chance. So any blocks like redstone, lapis, or anything that drops items like this onto the ground, not ores, fortune will of course, there you go, we've got fortune one, give you a chance to get better ones. So that right now, if I just use this on a, I don't know, um, random piece of wall maybe uh, yeah you'll see it's got a durability but if I just stand here for a minute and I think it's uh, depending on whether it's daytime or nighttime um, I think it's still daytime let's pop upstairs it's something like direct exposure to sunlight basically repairs the pick so if I just wander around for a little bit it's not showing up at the moment. You can put more than one ball of moss, but you use up um, modifiers by doing that. Well, just trust me when I say that this will repair itself. <laughs> it doesn't appear to be on camera. That's just about typical. But that gets us started. We've got a smeltery. We've got an upgraded pick. We don't have to use iron picks anymore. And you can use the same process to make uh, other things too. You don't have to... Um, leave it with a pick, however there are better materials, particularly for the sword there's better materials, manulin is, is the best material for a sword and there is an axe and shovel but you can make a different kind of thing um, you can make a mattock which is both an axe and a shovel if you want to think of it that way so that saves one inventory slot which is probably worth doing you just need to make an axe head, shovel head and handle in the same way that we've done previously so you could make those out of alumite as well and go and get some more obsidian. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. We've got a smeltery up and running. We've got a pagoda up and running. And we just need to move this. And I think we can just move these with... Is that finished now? It has. So we can just shift right click. Maybe not with those. The survivalist one should retain their... Um, charge and we can move these into our pagoda the only thing down here is the smeltery now which I may well move as well um, it's okay down here but we you know it's a bit far to walk all that other stuff I need to seal off still uh, let's just get rid of those now yeah nice and sealed off There we go. Thanks for watching. Next episode is going to be probably nether based or eh, or blood magic. I've not figured out where, which one just yet. After doing this pagoda, which took me a few hours, has to be said, and I'm not finished it yet. There needs to be many more floors. Um, next thing, yeah, maybe blood magic. Depends how desperate I am for new tools. Um, yeah, blood magic. So look out for that. Probably going to be, obviously, I'm trying to do these daily. Maybe not succeeding all the time, but trying to do them daily. So hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching.